We won't tell King Bowser if you help us. Well, I'll set up right over here. Twink's just like, oh shit, I better get the camera. Ah, it's just kidding. It's a game show, you know. <laughs> What'd you guys think it was? I mean, really. And I'm your host, Mr. Hammer. <laughs> Peach is just like, what? Let's get right to it. Hey, I'm going to ask you ten questions. Ken Heston, he's the most right. Well, you know, he's the coolest, obviously. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, I get nervous about this kind of thing. Um, Fabius, oh, and I gotta tell you, we're also giving prizes just for the participating. So everyone will be a winner. Yay! So we're America. Fantastic. Ready. Question one. What's the name of the boss inside Lava Lava Mountain? Oh, shit. Uh, hang on. I know that one, damn it! <laughs> I will not allow them to take my question. Princess Peach? That's correct! Let's go on to the next question, okay, folks? Mm, yes. Question two. Where did they even present it? Uh, flower fields? How did you possibly know that, Princess Peach? Don't worry about it. What's the name of the scary round monster living in dry dry ruins? Scary round monster. Chomp. Obviously! Do you get a chance to make a comeback? No, you don't. I'm gonna fucking steal all the questions, man. How did you get the flower fields? Oh, what? <laughs> I don't think they let you take that one. Um, by passing through the flower gate? Yeah! Of course. Still anyone's game, obviously. That is not the case. Just saying. What is the name of the person? Obviously. <laughs> of course he loves her. That's why he keeps kidnapping her. Because that's the only way to get a bitch's heart. What's the thing that's most prevalent in, in flower fields? Oh, God. Just idiots. Gee, I wonder who it is. <laughs> Gotta tell them what they want to hear, man. Question 8. Now, Forever Forest. Use your memory on this one. Question nine. What's the name of the area just south of the... Oh. Uh. Aw. Oh, I didn't... Aw. Oh. Well, I didn't know that one, but that's okay. Uh... That's correct! Success the winner is wow, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach. Luckily, you know, she has some sense. <laughs> Have a nutritious snack, of course. Thank you for coming everyone. It's been grand. We're gonna break the fourth wall like a boss. Almost forgot, here's your prize for participating. <laughs> Yes, here's your prize for playing our game. Something that will literally allow you to sneak around and do whatever the fuck you want. Oh, Christ, these guys are stupid. <laughs> I want to beat him over the head with this fucking parasol. Oh... Uh. God damn it, man. Huh? What are you all doing? Hey, it looks like fun. I'm gonna join in, too. 
and they're just like, oh shit, son. <laughs> the boss is here. We're fucked. Princess Peach, what is she doing here? She sneaked out again. Grr. You take Princess Peach back to her room now. Of course. Sorry, Princess Peach. We don't really want to do this, but we're just, you know, obeying our master. And thankfully, Mistar got our sorry asses out of there. Oh, woe is me, my beautiful treasure. And she's just all pissed off. Listen, listen to you. No treasure in the world is more valuable than your life. Be thankful you escaped, you asshole. To think this island was put in terrible peril because of the meddling of Bowers and Bowser's men. I think it will work out okay. The eruption will subside and, La and Lava Lava Island will be just the same as it used to be. But treasure... <laughs> Quit being a baby! Dear Mara, you have saved five of the star spirits now. Just a few more to go. My name is Miss Star. Let me grant you your power that will help you along the way. I actually forget what her power is. Five. Can I use smooch? <laughs> oh yeah. It's more powerful health regeneration. But if you need me, just call me anytime. I'll be watching you. I wish you for your success. I know you'll see the princess soon enough, Mario. Have faith. Thank you again for saving me. See you soon. Woo! So close, the treasure's right there. And then you get saved by s and yelled at by some sort of blooming great starfish. <laughs> uh, and Colorado's all depressed now. But we don't care about him because we have completed our objective. Now, a little bit of sad. <clears throat> and main quest, and technically, but we'll worry about that in a second. <laughs> Trust me, this is the right way to go. He's this great treasure he wanted so much. It's a vase. That's literally that's what it is. It's just a vase. No great purpose, no, just just a vase. <sighs> oh hello, how are you doing? What? You want the seed? Oh, uh, I completely forgot you. I gave it to some guy named Colorado or something. Sorry about that. I have such God damn it! Colorado, I will fucking murder you with a stick, man. Nah, I guess they do that just in case you forgot about this guy. Which is weird, because, you know, I almost never forget about him. Yes, those bubble bubbles or whatever. Just the bubbles, the bubblies, guys. They're very important, so make sure you gather all those seeds. We were just talking about flowers being our next objective. I can't imagine what those seeds are for! Uh, uh, here's your stupid-ass vase, you idiot. Good heavens, that's the treasure! How on earth did you... Well, I suppose it's no consequence right now. You're giving it to me, right? Mm-hmm. You're giving it to me? Oh, glory! Marvelous! Dear man, you are quite simply the cat's meow. Cheers! Uh, thanks? Yes, I suppose it's only proper I give you this as a thanks. Yeah, and you just... <laughs> well, you give it to me while I was off exploring. I'm sure it's quite a valuable seed, but I'm not interested in it at all. <laughs> Now that I got the treasure, I proclaim this adventure to be a great success! What a stupendous expedition! It will be forever recorded in the history of archaeology. Well, boy, let's away. Let's away. Back to Toe Town. Yay! It's been a great adventure, you guys. I mean, really. I had so much, so much fun with this this level as a kid, and I still had fun with it today. 
I just wish you had gotten to see the the boss fight as it was, as it was meant to be seen and not fucked up because of emulator. <sighs> but sadly, there's not much I can do about it. I hope you enjoyed it all the same. Hmm? Yes, yeah, time to get back together. Yep, let's go back to Toad Town. We have one more thing to do before we sign off this uh, session. Hi in there. What a heady adventure. I do love a lava island. Perchance someday I shall return to your shores. Whoa! What the flying fuck? <laughs> yes, I... <coughs> I did it. I swam all the way. Alright, Mario. Now I'm going to give you a beating you'll never... Wait, what? What are you going? No, wait, Mario, wait up! Come back, you chicken! God damn it, shit! Uh. Just like relaxing, fully rested, fully enjoying ourselves. And then, there's him. <sighs> You'll realize how stupid he is in a moment, don't worry. The gentle sloshing of water. Thank heaven we arrived. Now tuna fairing is once again an experience I shouldn't do again. Cheers for the ride though. I'm in your debt. But now I'm heading back to Cooper Village to relax. My wife must be waiting for me. Perhaps our paths will cross again in the future, old boy. Cheerio! Oh, damn it. Whoa! <laughs> I will never swim again for the rest of my life. Oh. No, Mario, you're mine this time. <sighs> Asshole. Here it comes, you. You better be ready. Uh, god damn it. Uh, oh no, all that swimming, my HP's almost gone. Good thing you can break the fourth wall. <laughs> These are my new skills. Check this out. More power! See if I just call out more power, shit happens. I know all your fighting patterns now, Mario. See my gear, my spikes, my wings. You can't attack me now, I'm the smartest fighter alive. They can't be defeated now. Yeah. Wait. If you could fly, why could why didn't you just fucking fly across the ocean? Uh sh shut up! <laughs> this I mean seriously bro. You may be the stupidest thing in creation. No joke. What? I didn't think you could even do that. Is that even legal? Of course it's legal. Everything's legal when Mario plays. Wait. Ow! That hurt, you douche. Your HP is shit, should I mention. So, uh, yeah. Take this, motherfucker! are going to tattle on your ass. He swam all the way after us. This kid, he's got balls. I know what you were going to say, Mubaru. It's okay. You, you don't have to lie to me. He still flies, but now he has a spike on his head. It'll hurt if you jump on him. Seems tougher this time. Luckily for us, he also looks pretty tuckered out. If you be tired, this little guy swam to Lava Lava Island and back. Seems better to attack from a distance with an item or something rather than attacking him directly. Or you could just use stars. Because I'm just throwing stars at him right now and it's working pretty well. Hmm. 
Uh, just focus. That's all I really got right now. Oh, well, that's gay. Yeah! It's okay, though. We have Starstorm. And that's how Toop Troop Koop Troop died. Because he's stupid. He's just like, ah, oh, god damn it. Why does this always happen? Because you challenge Mario, bitch. You don't challenge Mario. You just don't. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I have wings. If I had just flown to the island, I wouldn't have wasted my HP. And I probably would have had beaten Mario in no time. Stupid, stupid. Ah, I love how the game just... Oh, God. That's hilarious, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's just crying now because he's a big bitch. <sighs> Alright. I think that uh yeah, I think that'll do it for this session in Let's Play Paper Mario. I hope you'd enjoyed yourself as much as I have. I uh, I'm Lucas thirteen. Happy to join you this time. Tell me what you want, tell me what you need. I'll be here all day and night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you and good night.